Have you ever heard the story of someone who was scammed by a fraudulent real estate agent or even scammed by friends, relatives and family members? Many first-time real estate investors have been scammed by dubious property owner who sold just one property to two and more people. In this video, I'm going to share with you the top 7 tips that every first-time real estate investor must pay close attention to before putting his or hard-earned money into any property in Nigeria. These tips will enable you as a first-time investor to make safe, profitable investments in Nigeria. And this is coming up right now. Stick around. Welcome back. My name is Kola Wili Sarumi. I am a real estate professional for many years and my passion is to help investors like you to own genuine properties at the right location and at the right prices. Properties that have been projected to help you maximize your return on investment and also help you earn monthly and annual cash flow. So let us dive into the top 7 tips that every first time real estate investor must be aware of before committing his or hard earned money into real estate. It is vital that as a first time investor you don't gamble with your money. And as a first time investor it is advisable that you invest in tangible things, things that you could touch, things that you could feel, okay, things that you could even work on, okay. Invest in asset classes that steadily appreciate in value okay don't go and buy real estate assets in your village buy in emerging locations on the outskirts of a fully developed city that is the essence of real estate so the first tip amongst the seven is that you must have a clear goal in mind what many new investors don't know is that real estate can be broken into classes and types that is commercial and residential real estate. Residential real estate is simply real estate for human living. Okay, apartment, maisonette, duplex, bungalows are examples of residential real estate. Commercial real estate includes any property that generates you income. Okay, including rental spaces for event centers, okay, hotels, office spaces, okay, uh, in manufacturing facilities are classified as real estate for commercial purposes. You need to know exactly what type of real estate you want to acquire for yourself. The second tip is to have a budget in place. It is always advisable to prepare a budget to buy a house or a land. A budget helps in segmenting the available options and zeroing down on the right property that meets your investment goals. There's a wise saying that goes to us. Life is in stages and men are in sizes. So leave your level per time. What you can buy and what you can afford are two different things. Just because we give the option of installment payments doesn't mean you can buy just any property. You must have a budget in place and buy the property outright if you can. Or you can always subscribe to the installment payment options of the property you can afford based on your monthly income as at now. The third tip we'll be talking about today is to have a location in mind. Location is believed to be the most important factor when investing in real estate, especially if you want to profit or get appreciation on that investment. Many people think like landlords and not like investors. There is a big difference. When you buy land in your village, the value remains low for years and many, many years. The units have a very high vacancy rate. No one can rent it in your village. And those who live there, live there for free and can't even maintain the house. So it becomes dilapidated in a few years. You can however go ahead and buy land and build in your village for family, cultural, personal prestige reasons. But don't expect to make any money from such investments. In many parts of Nigeria's villages and rural areas, they will even dash your land 
so just you can develop their communities. Today in Lagos, areas such as Ekwe, Aja, Shongutedo, Ibejileki have been projected as hot locations to start your investment journey as a first time real estate investor. Suburbs in Lagos like Mowe, Shimawa, Mowe of Father, Alagbado, Songo of Agbara remain investors' delight because of the massive ROI they are set to reap in few years' time. The fourth tip is that you need to contact a trustworthy and a reliable realtor. This is where many first time investors miss it. They put the cart before the horse. When investing in real estate, one of the most important things to do is to find a credible, trustworthy, honest realtor before informing your friends and extended families about your investment goals. The essence of this is to prevent unpleasant situations in the future. Your friends and family members are not expert real estate advisors. So I'd like you to see it this way. When you're sick, you call your doctor, not your friends and family. When you need to write a will or have court cases, you call your family lawyer or a lawyer. So I believe everyone needs a realtor based on his honest, reliable track record of providing you with a well-informed decision. Your friends and family members should, however, inspect and monitor the process of the real estate acquisition. A real estate consultant or a realtor understands and knows the market within the market. They can help you connect to credible real estate developers and properties. From my own experience, I've seen many clients lose out on real estate opportunities that were clean profitable, affordable, and most importantly, in an excellent location. I personally advise our clients to involve a lawyer or a real estate expert in such processes. So a soft disclaimer, I'm not saying don't trust your friends and family, but make sure they bought such things before and they know the value of investing in real estate. Or, you know, these are people who actually and genuinely want good things for you. Yeah, that is the key. They want good things for you. So the fifth thing I'll be sharing with you is do your homework too. Go online. Read about the location you want to invest in. What's the news saying about that location? Does it really have what your realtor says? Will the area and axis match your investment goals? The sixth tip is that you have to employ the services of a land surveyor or a property lawyer. You can never be too careful when it comes to real estate investing because sometimes it is your life savings or a big chunk of your savings that is used to acquire these properties. So you want to make sure that these properties are 100% genuine and the developers will deliver on their promises to you. So I advise you to get professionals involved. Let them help you to do a due diligence independently. When buying, for instance, a, a property of 10 million euro, I believe it's reasonable to use 20, 30 to 50k to do investigation. The last tip is learn from the best and season investors. Talk to other investors about your real estate goals. This is one of the best and practical role in business, life and invest it. To achieve real estate success, you need to model your decisions after what other successful real estate investors in your area, community, and even family has done. The person could be an uncle, an aunt, or even your parents. So there you have it, the top seven tips every first time real estate investors must pay close attention to. If you enjoyed this video, kindly like and subscribe to see subsequent real estate tips coming up. You can also share this with someone who might benefit from this video. Let me know what you think about these tips down below in the comment section. Thank you and bye.